a personal injury, something that no one really wants. But what if you are injured and it was because of someone else's carelessness and you're looking to pursue a claim? Well, what should you expect with that process? Thankfully, we have a personal injury attorney, Tom Sinus from Sinus Jameis Law Firm, on with us this morning to explain all of the intricacies of personal injury law. Well, maybe not all of them, Tom. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Todd. We won't get to all of them. We'll get to a few basic ones. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a bit of meat on that bone, I'm sure. Let's start with personal injury cases. Uh, you know, those might seem daunting to a lot of people. You've been hurt. It's bad enough that you're hurt. You've got medical bills. And now, oh my goodness, the whole legal system and that whole deal that most of us don't know a lot about. Break it down for us. I think the reason it is so daunting, Todd, is because it's this it's this area of law that, of course, you never expect to have any familiarity with. You don't prepare for it. You know, there are certain parts of the law that I think people think maybe I'm going to need to prepare for that. You know, maybe I need to plan for my estate or maybe I'm in a difficult situation and I need a family law lawyer. You, maybe you think down the road. But the nature of personal injuries is that things happen so suddenly all of a sudden, this traumatic thing, maybe the worst thing that's ever happened to you happens in a blink of an eye. And you're dealing with the trauma of the event. And then immediately you're thrust into trying to figure out a legal system that most people have never really given any thought to at all because they think very reasonably, well, it's not going to happen to me, or I'm not going to worry about it until it happens to me. But the problem with that, of course, is that then when you are starting to worry about it after something's happened to you, you've got a whole lot of other things you're worried about at the same time. That's why I think it's so daunting. And I'm sure that people would be interested in hearing what that process looks like, like what the steps are, the phases are of a personal injury claim. Well, obviously there are a lot, but if I break it down into three basic ones, I think I'd break it down this way. The first phase is what I would call the investigation phase. And that is really trying to figure out, first, of course, what happened, what happened to cause the injury. And, and that, of course, tells you, well, who might be responsible? Sometimes it's very obvious, but sometimes it's quite involved determining who might be responsible. So things like gathering the work that, that law enforcement has done before a personal injury lawyer gets involved and adding to that by your own investigative efforts through your own personal injury law firm. That's part of the investigation process, but also investigating the nature of the person's injuries, understanding how they were injured, what the future may hold from them, gathering their medical records, perhaps meeting with their medical providers. And that's, that's what I would call phase one, investigating, to make sure that the, the person and their lawyer understands the circumstances of their case. The second phase is what I would call the pre-suit phase. And this is something that I, I think is important to most people. Most people will say if their claim can be resolved without a lawsuit fairly, and of course, fairly is the key phrase, then most people would prefer that as opposed to having a lawsuit. So it doesn't necessarily mean that every case can be resolved without a lawsuit, but some can and many are and many can be done so fairly, and that process is quicker. And so there is a pre-suit phase. And, and like in my practice, I take that phase very seriously, just like the others, to see whether it is possible for a claim to be resolved without having to go to court. But of course, many times court is required. And that brings us to our third phase, and I'll call that the litigation phase. And that phase starts really from the moment the lawsuit is filed, all the way through the time the case goes to trial. And we have phases within the litigation phase, things that we call discovery, for example, where we're formally gathering information. But the litigation phase is really that beginning of the lawsuit being filed and the jury trial at the end. And those are really the three main phases. There are, of course, other subtleties and other phases you could argue apply in there. But basically, those are the three things that I think people should at least have a general understanding of if they're going down that road of a personal injury case. And obviously, you know the intricacies of personal injury. Have you been doing this now for years and years? And many people might say, if only I knew then what I know now, right? That hindsight is twenty twenty. Since you've been doing this for so long, are there any insights, any nuggets you could give someone who maybe has a personal injury case? Yeah, I think I'd pick two words. I think I'd pick be thorough and be patient. 
and be thorough in terms of who you decide to hire. This is an important decision, and it's a decision that may have effects on the rest of, of your life. And so be thorough in the process of vetting who you're considering hiring for your case. And then be patient. And this is hard. It's much easier for me to say as the lawyer than for the injured person. But these claims, I think I've learned from my clients over the years, that what seems like a relatively quick claim for me, a quick case for me, feels like an eternity if it's your case. And that's because the nature of insurance claims and litigation and trials, these things are not fast. And so what you don't want to have happen, though, is to make a poor decision because you're impatient or frustrated or burned out. So my advice from the beginning is to just stick with it, even when it feels difficult. And hopefully you will have hired a lawyer that honors both those principles. They are thorough and they are patient because that ultimately is part of the key of a successful outcome in one of these cases. So do your homework, all right? And then have a little patience and know that uh, those two things combined can put you on the right path for a successful outcome. Again, I mentioned Sinus Stramus Law Firm, well-versed in personal injury law. If they need more information, how can they get a hold of you? Well, they can find us online at www.sinusstramus.com. They can shoot us an email at info at sinusstramus.com or give us a call in West Michigan at 616-301-3333. Once again, Tom, thanks for the great info. Thank you, Todd.